Right, welcome to our radioactive Skittles lab. And as you can see, I've got my data table all set and ready to go. I have counted 50 radioactive Skittles, right? So you can see how um, I've marked them all S up because some of them are, you can't tell the S's on the Skittles. So these are all radioactive. So they're gonna, this is my sample of 50. So I am going to put them into my container. Some of them are a little bit jumpy. Uh -oh, and of uh -oh. course I already, Decay. Oh, already one's decayed and it jumped out somewhere. And here we go. All right, so give it a little shake. And now I'm going to dump them out and I'm going to separate them by the ones that are S up versus not. And what does that shaking represent? So that is representing our radioactive decay process of mm. radioactive particles getting emitted from the nucleus. All right, so I have the ones that are S up are still radioactive. Careful. So I'm going to, oh, wow, I know. Radiation burns, <laughs> ah, radiation skittles. So now these look like they are all, oh, that's one, the purple with my purple marker. All right, and that's one right there. All right, so then now my ones that are, so now I have them separated. And so now I'm going to count. These ones have decayed. So now these are called blankium. And now I'm gonna put my radioactive ones back in. So I've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23 radioactive left. And I have three, six, nine, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, and 27 that have decayed. All right, well, it's 27 plus 23. That equals 50. Oh, so shouldn't they always equal 50? They should always equal 50. All right. Yep. All right, so. Nucleus is decaying, ready to emit some more particles, and remember these are the decayed. So now I'm going to put my radioactive ones back in. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine that are. What about that guy? Is that considered? Nope, that, I think that's oh, on okay. the bottom. Got it. All right, so I have nine radioactive Skittles going back in here. Plus the 23. Oh, plus my 23, sorry. So 23 plus nine is? 32. Nine, 10, 11, 12, so 32. Okay, and we can, okay. we can do the math later, 50 minus. Yeah, so then 50 minus 32, and then we should have now what? So 50 minus two, that's eight. So, that, so we have 18? Yeah, because the sum should always still be 50. 50. Okay, so then off to the side. All right, so more radioactive decay, another half-life. How many half-lives have we done so far? Right, one, two half-lives have gone by. So then now, let's see. We have one, two, hmm, I think only two. So then now, I have how many blankiums I have, so then 20. my radioactive is going to be 20 here. Shouldn't that be going down? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, so what's going on there? All right, so I have two, four, six, I have eight. So I have just eight. And then I had to add my 18 to 20. Oh yeah, that makes eight. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> the, I got a pop. Okay, so we've gone through uh, two half-lives, so our half-life number three. We made some adjustments. To, to our the, data table. To the data table. So then I'm going to dump those out. And I have two, one, four, I have six more that have decayed and I only have two radioactive candiums left. 
So then I'm gonna put my two back here. So that means I have two radioactive atoms decaying. And so then I have a total now of 48 that have decayed. So now we're gonna go on to half-life number four. So what do we think will happen? Okay, so I have one more decayed, one radioactive Skittle left. So then I have in my fourth half-life, one radioactive Skittle, and I have 49 that have decayed. All right, round five. And we have total decay. I have no radioactive atoms left, and I have 50 decayed Skittles. Now, Mrs. Davis, could you ever really have all radioactivity be gone? No. But, this but is, it would have decreased significantly and all radioactive elements eventually decay to stable isotopes. All right, great. So now you're going to use this data table to make a graph. Make a graph. 